Hey guys, Tony here again. I've got a great Mac tip for you today. This is a world first in RC. Now, I think it's pretty important. It's a, a way to measure your spring pressure, downward pressure on any RC car by simply using kitchen scales, tow gauge, and some vernier calipers. Um, you can take readings from standing right height all the way to the ground and compare those with other cars which don't have your type of springs perhaps or other cars you may just want to get a good idea of their setup. How you do this is you simply press down here and you'll see the reading apply on the scales. That's the high level overview. Now I'm going to show you, I'm going to break down in the next segment of what you need in terms of tools and how to go about it to get those readings so you can measure things like progressive springs, automatic leaf springs, anything. So things you'll need, first of all, you'll need your car. Uh, at full race weight, you can see my battery, my battery, my motor is actually uh, missing here. Um, doesn't really matter for this, I'm just showing you how to apply the theory. Um, but you want it at, at race weight so you get the accurate readings. Now, you also need to remove the front bumper so you can use the vernier calipers on that point and pull the car down. Um, next, you will need tow gauge so you can put under the front wheels, kitchen scales, put the tow gauge on top of that and car stand because it's similar height to the kitchen scales if you want something that's a similar height like a block or whatever you can use that i like this because this comes to the racetrack with me so i can apply this theory by just taking my usual stuff to the track that's going to go to the rear and a pair of vernier calipers so we can take those measurements Right, step three. Let's apply this theory and show you how it all works. So, put your kitchen scales down. Put the uh, display on a bit of an angle there so you can actually read it. Toe gauge on top. Now you want to get it close to the edge of the bench so that you can get the car up nice and close to the edge of the bench. So you can get your vernier calipers underneath the bench top um, and on top of the carbon fibre. So you're trying to like clamp down on the front and the rear of the car. So let's go like that. Let's bring my car over. Just going to put that there. That'll do. And now I'll bring that into shot for you so you can see the display. I'm going to turn that on now and let that tear to zero. There we go. So I'll just move that. You can't see that at the moment. There we go. Okay, so this next part is um, pretty easy. Let's get your vernier calipers, set it to as close as zero as you can. What we want to do is we want to be able to open up the calipers, put the bottom part under the workbench, under the lip, and the top part, we want to slowly bring that down on top of the carbon, but no downward pressure. We're only taking a measurement of the standing right height. There we go. So mine is 85.17. Now what I want to do is just to show you how this works, let's take two millimeters off. So we're applying two millimeters of pressure onto the suspension just like it would be when it's going around on a racetrack. So I'm going to say 83.16 I'll go down to. Or close to. So let's go. That'll do. Lock it in with the little lock screw. Make sure we turn our scales on. Let that tear to zero the vernier under the wood, press the car down, let the car go, 
And now you'll have a reading, as you can see, 230 grams. If we take another two millimeters off and go to say 82 point, just round it off, 82.2, that'll do. And again, under the wood, on top of the chassis, holding the vernier caliper firmly under the wood so that it's not applying any downward pressure. And I've got a reading of 300. So that's telling us that it's 300 grams of pressure, uh, four millimeters of travel. There you go, I hope that helps. Um, there is absolutely no reason why this can't also work on off-road. Um, obviously it doesn't take into account the speed at which a shock goes up and down, that's dampening, that's completely different. This is purely spring rates and pressure, um, but should be able to be applied to off-road as well. Uh, maybe some off-roaders can give it a go and, and let me know. Cheers, hope it helps.